Yep. Okay. Done that. I thought that was a spring enemy. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go over there again. to go into more cyberspace. You know, I... Having to, uh... Like, basically triple tap, uh, the jump button. Like, double jump and then hold, hold the A button. Oh, uh, yeah, A button. Uh, to do a drop dash. It's not as awkward as I was expecting it to be, honestly. I Like, ideally, uh, you'd just be able to, like, hold it down. Like, just pr jump and then hold it afterwards. But, you know, it's not that bad. I, I don't mind it too much. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to my ring count very much. Sand shark thing. Oh no! Oh. What the heck? Get 
jump or something? Oh. Oh. Oh no, I had him! For God's sake. Okay, I just need to home attack. I don't need to jump off. That's okay. I keep doing that by instinct. Because I feel like. I keep thinking I need to, like, jump off and then attack him. Oh, that's bright. Like that, okay. Boom. Oh yeah. Mario time. <laughs> oh no. Scenic time. Okay. Okay, the boost is just the best when you have um, when you have the, the uh, super boost. Oh. oh, okay. Don't know how I didn't take damage there, but that's that's totally fine. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. I have not. Have I found a single. I have not found a single get <laughs> Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm just kind of going places. <laughs> Another spring enemy. Boink. Lovely. What's this? Like stuff over here. Oh hi, what tank? How are you doing? Whoa. Oh what? Oh dear. Oh no. This is different. Yeah. I'm trying, game. Pyramid thing. What's this? What is what is all this? Go looking go underwater. I I can't. I can barely see anything. Oh, there's an air meter. Oh, I I should have figured. I don't know why that's such a surprise to me. You do- you cannot go underwater for very long. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I'll give this guy another try. Wait, so yeah. Uh oh, okay, what? Oh, I get it now, okay. Timing. Yo. That's actually kind of sick, I like that. Hmm. Yo, this might be my favorite mini boss so far. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, why am I bad? Oh, please. this Uh oh, okay. Let's not too, get too greedy here. Oh! Right. Boom! Gotta love that. Yeah, just slightly bounce on him. Bounce on him will be fine. Oh, dude, that was sick. I actually really enjoyed that. Fighting a lot of mini bosses. Okay, I think I'll fight this. I, I should probably stop after this guy. I... Oh no! <coughs> okay, I need to. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Yeah, that's not why. 
not what I need to do. See what I mean though in the last session, like, if I wasn't LPing this, I, I, I could be playing this, like, forever. Okay, so if I ricochet more, then that makes the attack more powerful. Oh god. Nice. Okay, cool. Whew. Nice. I'll grab this. Might as well. And all the cocos. Alright. Alright, but I've been recording for uh two hours and sixteen minutes, so I should probably stop here <laughs> before it, the recording gets like super long. But yeah. Yeah! Four twenty! Ah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm gonna stop here, so yeah, next time we'll continue to explore, was it, Ares Island? Yeah, uh, we'll get more memory tokens and whatnot for Knuckles, and hopefully we'll find more cyberspace, because yeah, we've still only found one here, but yeah, it seems like an interesting place so far. I still feel like I, I, I still feel like there's a lot of stuff I missed in uh, Kronos, but it is what it is. But yeah, that will be it for now, so yeah, next time we'll explore more of the desert. See you guys then. Alright, welcome back to Sonk Frontiers. <laughs> um, so, yeah, right off the bat, I have the soap shoes. And, um, yeah, at the time of this recording, I think, um, I don't think you're, <laughs> I don't think you can get the soap shoes anymore, so I kind of got this last minute, but, yeah, they uh, did a little uh, cool thing where, if, uh, was it, if you subscribe to the was it the Sonic Frontiers newsletter or whatever it was? Um, you can get a free download code for the soap shoes from SA2, which is really cool, really nice uh, callback. And uh, I know there's like a uh, Christmas outfit as well, which I don't think I have, but yeah, it's just cool little extras that I appreciate. But yeah, just continuing on, on where, from where we left off last time, where we just. I don't know, we're kind of just <laughs> wandering around the desert trying to find stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how things go. Still not really sure what was up with the... Uh, what is it? You know the... But the... The, the um... What do you call it? I, I, I can't think right now. Uh... The like meteor shower or whatever whatever it was. I I still don't really know what the deal deal was with that, but Oh well. <laughs> I guess it is called the Starfall Islands. Okay. Okay, give me Okay, hold on. I Give me a second here. I, I want to uh, make sure I can actually see all of the screen properly. It's not. This is not going to affect you. This is just what I can see. So it wasn't like some parts of the screen was were a bit cut off, but that's that's fine. Yeah, I I think we just found like the one cyberspace level last time. So hopefully we can find more. Uh, today, I honestly have no idea where any of them are, like I've been saying. Oh. Okay, well, speak of the devil. Do we have... Yeah, we can access. Okay. So, I don't... How many were there in uh, the first area? Like, the first island? Like, seven? Maybe? So, I assume there's going to be, like, seven here as well. I was... What is this going to be? It could also be a... Oh, oops. It 
Yeah, they really should change that to be more timing based. Like just holding it kind of re defeats the point of a uh, uh, what you call it. Kind of defeats the point of a counter or a parry. Like it should, it should, you know, it should be a bit different. But what a, whatever, whatever, uh, chemical farm. So. I guess I should start talking about this now, so, uh, yeah, there's, there's a, um, a thing about this game where it, oh, oh okay, I <laughs> didn't think I'd actually make it back up there, um, there's a thing about this game where it uses, it reuses lo uh, level design from previous games, mainly SA2 Unleashed in the Generations, and, uh, well, there, there are some unique level levels here and there, like, I think, I don't remember this level design, but, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, of the cyberspace levels that have borrowed level design from previous games, which did get a lot of uh, mixed response, let's say, um, and I will say this, if it was, if these levels were, oh wow, okay, I thought I did pretty good on that, okay, uh, if this was like Sonic Forces, where the cyberspace type stages were the main part of the game, and there was nothing else, then yeah, I I'd be pretty damn disappointed. But since they're like a side thing, I don't mind it too much. And I will say this, they aren't... They're pretty close, but they aren't one-to-one -one with their original levels. So I don't think it's as bad as it could have been. And these are some like really damn good level designs, so... It, like, mixing this together with, like, the open world stuff, um, I don't mind it personally, I can see the issue, I, I don't, I don't think it's that bad, but, yeah, I, I get why- You are not oh. ready. Oh. You are I not see. Re 31. I have a hundred, though, what do you mean I'm not you ready? Okay. But yeah, I, I don't mind it so much because, like, it- it's not the main part of the game, and I wouldn't be surprised if cyberspace was something that was added that was added in later in development. Uh, but yeah, as like an extra thing, I I, I I'm really enjoying cyberspace overall. It like would it be better if it had like more original level design? Of course, yeah, sure. But I, for what it's worth, I I'm not upset. I, I I'm not like losing sleep over it. I think, like, come the next game, if they bring back cyberspace-type stages, then yeah, I, I'd want more, un like, unique level design. But, like, for a first, uh, open-world Sonic game, I I don't mind it as, like, an extra thing, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, but that's basically how I feel. And, again, the level design is burrowing, is, like, some of the best in the series, so I can't complain too much, really. But yeah, my mate, my own like my biggest complaint about it is the fact that like I feel like they could have used more uh, level themes, because you know the whole <laughs> getting sick of Chemical Plant, Green Hill, and all that. Yeah, there's a reason for that, and. Uh, you know, the fact that we're still doing that in Frontiers is a little bit stupid, but... Yeah... It's... I can... I'll live. Like... I'll, I'll um, have words to say if they do that for Frontiers 2, but... Um, I'll, I'll... I can live... I can live in this game... in this game's case, because... It... Again, the level design is generally really solid, and it's borrowing from a lot of stages that aren't Green Hill. It's just using Green Hill as a as a backdrop, which kind of goes into uh, what I'm saying about how I wish there were more like level themes and stuff, because when you have levels that are using level design from like Radical Highway or Metal Harbor and stuff like that, you kind of want to see those stages, like the, um, the aesthetics be recreated and not just be, you're not just plopped into Green Hill and Chemical Plant with that stage's level design. Um, or like Sky Rail, for instance, like, you know, stuff like that. Like that Sky Rail in um, SA2 is basically Pumpkin Hill at night. Uh, there. Pumpkin, 
Pumpkin Hill in Day, excuse me. And, you know, it's a really cool level. It has a lot of cool set pieces and, like, you see a lot of the environments that you saw in Pumpkin Hill, but in the daytime. And, uh, you know, it's really cool to look at. And just imagining that in HD and, like, in this game would be sick, but... No, it's just in Green Hill, which is... Yeah, I, I don't particularly care for that, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm, again, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but I do think they could have done it a bit better. But, yeah. How do I do my... I'm trying to remember how to play this game. How do I... Quick side loop. Okay, why join a combo? Okay. But yeah, I, I, I just wanted... To, I knew I had to talk about that at some point, because it was like... Before Frontiers was coming out, that was like a big point of uh, contention for a while. I mean, it still kind of is. Like the um, seeing level themes come back has been uh, a problem for a while. Like people have been pretty sick of that. Me, honestly, me included. Like uh, I, I'll be honest. I have. I know a lot of people love Mania, and I do too, but like, I kind of have to be in the mood for that, and I feel like a big reason for that- Oh, okay. I, I feel like a big reason for that is the fact that it only has like four new zones and everything else is just burrowed, which I- Yeah, that was really bad. Um, wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought I had to hit it a hundred times. Okay. But yeah, I, I... Yeah, Mania only having four, four new zones kind of... I don't know, I... When I play that game, I'm just kind of like... Yeah, I, I'd rather be playing, like... The original games these zones come from, if that makes sense. Because I... I play, like, Sonic 3, and, like, I can play that game... Like, a million times, and be okay because like it's I'm, I think it's just the way the game is structured and also it's all like new stuff it doesn't feel like anything's being borrowed from previous games and uh, I guess I just like the journey in Sonic 3 more because more it's more con connected I guess for lack of a better word because yeah Sonic M Mania has like cutscenes between zones but you're also going between, like, a bunch of different areas because of the, um, Phantom Ruby. And it's not, like, once You're not exploring, like, one specific island like you are in Sonic's 1, 2, and 3. So it feels more disconnected in that sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but, like, point is, I enjoy Sonic 3's structure more. And while I do love Mania, I... Since it has a lot of, um returning zones, I can't enjoy it as much as I feel like I could, uh, if that makes any sense, and and I feel like just the fact that, like, the Phantom Ruby basically sends you, like, all across these different areas through, like, a bunch of different, uh, the, a bunch of the different, like, 2D Sonic games, it doesn't feel as cohesive as, like, 1, 2, 3 on CD, at least to me, I, I could... Maybe I'm, like, the weird one. I know a lot of people love Mania and cite it as, like, their favourite Sonic game. I'm not really in that camp. I Honestly, I play a lot of Sonic games before Mania. I don't... That doesn't mean I dislike it, but, like, yeah, I... It, yeah, I, I don't know. That, that's just how I feel. <laughs> There's not really a... Um, planned run or anything like that, but... You know, this kind of stuff has been on my mind for a while. Like, I, like I've always kind of had issues like replaying Mania like I again I kind of have to be in the mood for it and I kind of just oh I messed up uh 
been trying to figure out why that's the case, and I feel, again, I feel like the structure is a big part in that. How do I... wait, what? Oh. I'll do this. Uh... Okay. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> so what I'm basically saying is Sonic Mania sucks, don't play it. <laughs> Someone's gonna, like, out, out, uh, get that audio clip out of context. Because, uh, it, <laughs> according to the internet, if you, if you dislike, um, anything about a game, it, it means you hate it. it there's no in-between. But yeah, I, I hope I got my point across okay. I, I hope that made any sort of sense. And yeah, I know that, like, the topic of, like, how returning zones is, like, very tied and, uh, you know, it's kind of been talked to death at this point. But I will say this. When, when these games constantly bring back zones with, like, every game, you kind of can't blame people, because, like, it, it's, like, people keep, keep complaining about it because it keeps being, like, they keep doing it, and I, I feel like it's one of those things where you kind of need your voice to be heard, otherwise they're just Sonic Team, Sega, whatever, I'm just gonna think it's fine and then just keep doing it over and over and over, and they kind of need to stop. <laughs> Uh, like, at least, if you're gonna do that, at least bring back stages that we haven't seen in ages. And not just, you know, Green Hill, Chemical Plant, Sky Sanctuary for the 500th time. Well, I mean, Sky Sanctuary is a bit of the lesser of two evils, I guess, but, you know, still. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, th this is... Uh, Yeah, this, this terrain is making it really difficult to, uh, do a silo. Yeah, these enemies are kind of a nuisance. I don't know why I'm trying to silo. Let's do this. Okay. Here. Yeah. Just exploring somewhere with the desert. Just seeing what's, it, what's about. I wanna get up there. Oh, that's the uh, fishing one, isn't it? Maybe? No, I don't think so. I the fishing one is like Yeah, okay, this is the actual stage. 
I think the fishing one is like blue or purple. <sighs> oh, okay. Alright, oh, oh, okay, this is the camera. Come on. I thought this was uh, the city for a second. It sounds like Persona music. Oh, Egg Robos, okay. Oh, I think this- oh, good. I think this is the uh, Radical Highway stage. Yeah, they've been talking a lot about, um, like, updates for the game. Like, specifically, Update 3. Like, apparently there's gonna be a lot of experimentation uh, with that. Um, and they're thinking about uh, removing the boost for the next game and making it more, like, adventure-like, which I, I'd be all, all down for because I'd, I'd love an open world with, like, adventure controls. Okay, yeah, that was really short. Okay. Boy. Yes. Okay. Get the chaos removed. Okay. Uh, that's, that is a long far. That was very far away. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, let's go. Do that, I suppose. Can I do this? Yeah. Oh, the, it says I. That's the remaining amount of medals I need. It's not how many I need. Period. Okay. Amy said her cyber cage wasn't a fun time. How was it for you? Miserable, like a living nightmare. It was the most alone I've ever felt. And at the same time, I was drowning in terrible visions and emotions. Like I said, nightmare. Yeesh. These visions, they weren't like what Tikal showed us way back when, were they? Do these ruins sync up to when your ancestors were wiped out? I don't think so. But if you're right, and that prison was bringing back those memories, that's cruel. If I find out who designed it, they're gonna pay. Yeah, nice, nice callback. Okay. <laughs> it feels good to actually be rewarded for being a Sonic fan. <laughs> like, actually, like, knowing these previous games. Okay. <laughs> Just break all the boxes. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> what is this? What? What I do? What I do? No? What? What is this? Can I like pump, like pump them into the into the uh, the little holes? How do I? What? What is this? You are not ready. Oh. Return when the time is right. I see. Fair enough then, I guess I'll worry about that later. You know, that- that- <laughs> Now that I think about it, that's probably- Oh, wait. That- that's probably a, uh, Coco minigame or something. What? Oh, okay, I see. Puzzles in my Sonic game, get out of here. Oh, okay, that that's too fast. Okay, 
how big is this place? Jesus, yeah, it's uh, quite the big one. Right, let's go to the Emerald, I guess. Right. Super boost! More of this. God, that goes so fast, look at that! I just kind of went in circles. Okay, there we go. I was trying to get out of that little, uh, like, crevice, I guess? I don't know. Woo! You don't. Are we gonna have to run or something? I gotta find someplace safe. Oh my god. I see, so that that is what we're doing. I wasn't expecting this, okay. <laughs> this shows a little bit more control here, I can't really move much. I okay, that was cool. Uh Ah! No, don't! I- okay. Oh, okay. pause that. Okay. Hi, Knuckles. Have you been here before? You're navigating the island like it's nothing. 
Oh no, see when I interact with these things marked with this symbol, I automatically learn the lay of the land. Oh, they're it's actually like making it. Beaming a GPS signal right into my brain. Pretty cool, <laughs> right? I'm sure that's the ancients doing as well. I wonder what that symbol means in their language. When it come to think of it, you don't actually see it printed anywhere in the villages. I guess the true meaning is lost to time. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, yeah, it's like the Sonic Unleashed switches. Oh, that's funny. I'm covering a lot of ground really quickly. That being said, I only have two, one emerald. So maybe not. Woo. Guess we'll just keep talking to Knuckles. Father was right about you. You're reckless and destructive. I have no idea what your deal is, but if we could just talk- No, no discourse, no bartering, only elimination. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Time out! Time out? She attacked you! Yeah, it's kind of her thing, but she's trying to protect something, or someone. I'm willing to help, but first, I need to know what's going on. No, you don't know what you're talking about. You're too trusting, Sonic. No, I'm not. Trust me. Hmm. <laughs> 